The Quran, a complete revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans, Quranite.com. Part 3 Those are the messengers. We gave preference to some over others. Among them are those with whom God spoke, and he raised some among them in degree. And we gave Asa, son of Mariam, clear evidence, and strengthened him with the spirit of holiness. And had God willed, there would not have fought one another those who came after them, after clear evidence had come to them. But they differed. Some of them believed, and some denied. And had God willed, they would not have fought one another. But God does what he intends. O you who heed warning, spend of what we have provided you, before there comes a day wherein is neither commerce, nor friendship, nor intercession. And those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue, they are the wrongdoers. God, there is no God save he, the living, the eternal. Neither slumber nor sleep overtake him. Unto him belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. Who can intercede with him save by his leave? He knows what is at their time and what following them, and they encompass nothing of his knowledge, save what he wills. His throne overspreads the heavens and the earth, and the sustaining thereof wearies him not, and he is the exalted the tremendous. No compulsion is there in doctrine. Sound judgment is clear from error. And whoso denies idols and believes in God, he has grasped a firm handhold which has no break, and God is hearing, knowing. God is the ally of those who heed warning. He brings them out of darkness into the light. And those who are indifferent to warning, their allies are idols. They bring them out of the light into darkness. These are the companions of the fire, wherein they abide eternally. Hast thou not considered the one who disputed with Ibrahim concerning his Lord, since God had given him dominion? When Ibrahim said, My Lord is he who gives life and gives death, He said, I give life and give death. Ibrahim said, God brings the sun from the east, so bring thou it from the west. Then was the one indifferent to warning lost for words, and God guides not the wrongdoing people. Ellipsis. So be not among them to continue. Or like one passing by a city when it was desolate, he said, How will God give life to this after its death? So God caused him to die a hundred years, then raised him up. He said, How long hast thou tarried? Said he, I have tarried a day, or part of a day. He said, The truth is, thou hast tarried a hundred years. Look thou at thy food and drink, they have not decayed, and look thou at thy donkey and we make thee a proof for mankind. And look thou at the bones, how we revive them, then clothe them with flesh. And when it had become clear to him, he said, I know that God is powerful over all things. And when Ibrahim said, My Lord, show thou me how thou givest life to the dead, he said, Dost thou not believe? Said he, Verily, but that my heart should be at rest. He said, Take thou four birds, and cause thou them to incline to thee. Then place thou a part of them upon each hill, then call thou to them. They will come to thee in haste. And know thou that God is mighty, wise. The example of those who spend their wealth For the cause of God is like the example of a grain which sprouts seven ears, in each ear a hundred grains. And God increases manifold 
to whom he wills, and God encompasses, knows. Those who spend their wealth for the cause of God then follow not what they have spent with condescension or hindrance. They have their reward with their Lord, and they need not fear, nor will they regret. Fitting speech and blindness to deficiency is better than charity followed by hindrance. And God is free from need, forbearing. O you who heed warning, make not your charity vain through condescension and hindrance, like the one who spends his wealth to be seen of men and believes not in God and the last day. And his example is like the example of a rock whereon is soil. The rain fell upon it, leaving it bare. They possess nothing of what they earn, and God guides not the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And the example of those who spend their wealth seeking the pleasure of God, and as a confirmation of their souls, is like the example of a garden on high ground. The rain fell upon it, and it yielded double fruit. And if rain fall not upon it, then dew, and God sees what you do. Does one among you wish that there be for him a garden of date palms and grapes beneath which rivers flow, he having every sort of fruit therein? Ellipsis, of course, to continue. And old age befell him, and he had offspring without strength, and a cyclone wherein was fire fell upon it, and it was burned up. Thus does God make plain to you the proofs that you might give thought. O oh, you who heed warning, spend of the good things you earn, and of what we bring forth for you from the earth, and resort not to the bad thereof, to spend thereof, when you would not take it for yourselves, save that you should disdain it. And know that God is free from need, praiseworthy. The shaitan promises you poverty and enjoins upon you sexual immorality. But God promises you forgiveness and bounty from him. And God encompasses, knows. He gives wisdom to whom he wills. And to whom wisdom is given, he has been given much good. But only those possessed of insight take heed. And what you spend of expenditure or make of a pledge, God knows it. And there are for the wrongdoers no helpers. If you reveal charity, excellent is it. But if you hide it and give it to the poor, it is better for you and removes from you some of your evil. And God is aware of what you do. Not upon thee is their guidance, but God guides whom he wills. And what you spend of good, it is for yourselves. And spend only seeking the countenance of God. And what you spend of good will be paid in full to you, and you will not be wronged. On the poor who are straitened for the cause of God, they cannot make a way in the earth. The ignorant considers them free from need due to their reticence. Thou wilt know them by their mark. They do not ask of men importunately. And what you spend of good, God knows it. Those who spend their wealth by night and by day, secretly and openly, they have their reward with their Lord, and they need not fear, nor will they regret. Those who consume usury, will not stand save as stands one whom the shaitan has touched, because they say commerce is but the same as usury. When God has made commerce lawful and prohibited usury, and he to whom came the exhortation from his Lord and desisted, he has what is past, and his case is with God. But whoso goes back, these are the companions of the fire wherein they abide eternally. God eliminates usury and increases charity, and God loves not every false ingrate. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness and uphold the duty and give the purity, they have their reward with their Lord, 
and they need not fear, nor will they regret. O oh, you who heed warning, be imprudent fear of God, and give up what remains of usury if you be believers. And if you do not, be informed of war from God and his messenger. But if you repent, to you be your principal sums. Wrong not, and you will not be wronged. And if he be one in hardship, then deferment until ease. But that you forgive by way of charity is better for you, if you would know. And be in prudent fear of a day in which you will be returned to God. Then every soul will be paid in full what it has earned, and they will not be wronged. O oh, you who heed warning, when you contract a debt together for a named term, write it. And let the one who writes, write it between you with justice. And let not the one who writes refuse to write it as God has taught him. So let him write. And let him who takes upon him the obligation read it aloud. And let him be in prudent fear of God his Lord, and omit not thereof anything. But if he who takes upon him the obligation be incompetent, or weak, or unable to read it aloud, he, his ally, shall read it aloud with justice, and call to witness two witnesses from among your men. But if there be not two men, a man and two women among those you approve as witnesses. That should one of them err, one of them might remind the other. And let not witnesses refuse when they are called, and be not weary of writing it, small or great, to its term. That is more just in the sight of God, and more upright for witness, and nearer to there being no misgivings between you, save if there be present trade that you transact among you. Then you do no wrong that you write it not. And take witnesses when you enter into contract together, and let not one who writes or a witness be harmed. And if you do, then is it wanton perfidy among you, and be in prudent fear of God, and God is teaching you, and God knows all things. And should you be on a journey and have not found one who writes, a pledge in hand, and if you trust one another, let him who is trusted discharge his trust, and let him be in prudent fear of God his Lord, and conceal not the witness. And he who conceals it, his heart is false, and God knows what you do. To God belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and whether you reveal what is within yourselves or hide it, God will call you to account for it. And he forgives whom he wills, and punishes whom he wills, and God is powerful over all things. The messenger believes in what is sent down to him from his Lord, as do the believers. Each believes in God and his angels and his laws and his messengers. We make no distinction between any of his messengers, and they say we hear and we obey. Thy forgiveness, our Lord, ellipsis, is what we seek. To continue, and to thee is the journey's end. God imposes not upon a soul save to its capacity. It has what it earns, and it answers for what it acquires. Our Lord, take thou us not to task if we forget or err. Our Lord, lay thou not upon us a burden as thou didst lay upon those before us. Our Lord, impose thou not upon us beyond what we are able, and excuse thou us, and forgive thou us, and have thou mercy upon us. Thou art our benefactor. Help thou us against the people who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. Chapter 3 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Alif Lam Mim God, there is no God save He, the living, the eternal. He sent down upon thee the law aright, confirming what is within its scope, and he sent down the Torah and the Gospel before as guidance for mankind. And he sent down the division, 
those who deny the proofs of God, they have a severe punishment. And God is mighty, able to requite. God, there hides not from him anything in the earth or in the sky. He it is who fashions you in the wombs as he wills. There is no God save he, the mighty, the wise. He it is who sent down upon thee the law. Among it are explicit proofs. They are the foundation of the law, while others are likenesses. Then as for those in whose hearts is crookedness, they pursue what is a likeness thereof, seeking the means of denial and seeking its interpretation. And only God knows its interpretation and those established in knowledge. They say, we believe in it, it is all from our Lord. But only those possessed of insight take heed. Our Lord, make thou not our hearts deviate when thou hast guided us, and bestow thou upon us mercy from thyself. Thou art the bestower. Our Lord, thou art gathering mankind to a day about which there is no doubt. God will not break the appointment. Those who are indifferent to warning, their wealth and their children will avail them nothing against God. And these are fuel for the fire, like the case of the house of Fir'aun and those who were before them. They repudiated our proofs, so God seized them for their transgressions. And God is severe in retribution. Say thou to those who are indifferent to warning, you will be defeated and gathered into hell, and evil is the resting place. There was a proof for you in the two hosts which met, a host fighting for the cause of God and another denying, they seeing them as twice their like by the sight of the eye. And God strengthens with his help whom he wills. In that is a lesson for those with eyes to see. Made fair for men is the love of lusts for women and sons and heaped up fortunes of gold and silver and branded horses and cattle and tilth. That is the provision of the life of this world and God with him is the best of returns. Say thou, shall I inform you of something better than that? For those who are in prudent fear, with their Lord are gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein, and purified spouses, and acceptance from God. And God sees the servants, those who say, Our Lord, we believe, so forgive thou us our transgressions, and protect thou us from the punishment of the fire, the patient, and the truthful and the devoutly dutiful, and those who spend, and the seekers of forgiveness at dawn. God bears witness that there is no God save he, as do the angels, and those possessed of knowledge, upholding equity. There is no God save he, the mighty, the wise. The doctrine with God is submission. And those in possession of the law differed only after knowledge had come to them through sectarian zealotry between them. And whoso denies the proofs of God, God is swift in reckoning. And if they argue with thee, then say thou, I submit my countenance to God, as do those who follow me. And say thou to those in possession of the law, and to the unschooled, have you submitted? And if they have submitted, then have they been rightly guided. And if they turn away, then but upon thee is the communication. And God sees the servants. Those who deny the proofs of God and kill the prophets without cause, and kill those who enjoin equity among men, give thou them tidings of a painful punishment. These are they whose works are vain in this world and the hereafter, and they have no helpers. 
Hast thou not considered those given a portion of the law? They are invited to the law of God, that it might judge between them. Then some among them turn away, and they are disinclined, because they say, The fire will not touch us save a number of days. And what they invented has deceived them in their doctrine. Then how will it be when we gather them to a day about which there is no doubt and every soul is paid in full what it earned? And they will not be wronged. Say thou, O God, Master of dominion, thou givest dominion to whom thou wilt, and thou removest dominion from whom thou wilt. Thou exaltest whom thou wilt, and thou abasest whom thou wilt. In thy hand is good. Thou art powerful over all things. Thou makest the night enter into the day, and thou makest the day enter into the night, and thou bringest forth the living from the dead, and thou bringest forth the dead from the living, and thou givest provision to whom thou choosest without reckoning. Let not the believers take as allies those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue rather than believers, and whoso does that is not of God in anything, save that you be in prudent fear among them of a threat. And God warns you of himself, and to God is the journey's end. Say thou, if you hide what is in your breasts, or reveal it, God knows it. And he knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And God is powerful over all things. The day every soul will find what it did of good summoned and what it did of evil, it will wish there were between the two a great distance. And God warns you of himself. And God is kind to the servants. Say thou, if you love God, follow me. God will love you and forgive you your transgressions, and God is forgiving, merciful. Say thou, obey God and the messenger. Then, if they turn away, God loves not those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. God chose Adam and Nuh and the house of Ibrahim and the house of Imran above all mankind, descendants alike. And God was hearing, knowing, when the wife of Imran said, My Lord, I have vowed to thee what is in my womb in consecration, so accept thou from me. Thou art the hearing, the knowing. Then when she had given birth to her, she said, My Lord, I have given birth to a female. And God knew best to what she was to give birth, and the male is not like the female. And I have named her Mariam. And I seek thy protection for her and her descendants with thee from the accursed Shaitan. Then her Lord accepted her with a comely acceptance, and caused her to grow with a comely growth, and placed her under the care of Zachariah. Whenever Zachariah entered upon her in the sanctuary, he found with her provision. He said, O Mariam, whence comes this to thee? She said, It is from the presence of God. God gives provision to whom he wills without reckoning. Thereupon Zachariah called to his Lord. He said, My Lord, bestow thou upon me from thyself goodly progeny. Thou art the hearer of supplication. And the angels called to him as he stood, performing the duty in the sanctuary. God gives thee glad tidings of Yahya a confirmation of a word from God, both honourable and chaste, and a prophet among the righteous. Said he, My Lord, how can there be for me a lad when old age has reached me and my wife is barren? He said, Thus God does what he wills. Said he, My Lord, make thou for me a proof. He said, Thy proof is that thou shalt not speak to men three days, save by gestures. And remember thou thy Lord much, and give thou glory in the evening and the morning. And when the angel said, O Mariam, God has chosen thee and purified thee, and chosen thee above the women of all mankind, O Mariam, 
be thou devoutly dutiful to thy Lord, and submit thou, and be thou lowly with the lowly. That is among the reports of the unseen we instruct thee in. And thou wast not with them when they cast their lots for who should have charge of Mariam, and thou wast not with them when they were disputing. When the angels said, O Mariam, God gives thee glad tidings of a word from him. His name is the Anointed One, Asa, son of Mariam, esteemed in this world and the hereafter, and among those brought near. He will speak to the people in the cradle and in manhood, and is of the righteous. She said, My Lord, how can there be for me a son when a mortal has not touched me? He said, Thus God creates what he wills. When he decrees a thing, he but says to it, Be thou, and it is. And he will teach him the law, and wisdom, and the Torah, and the gospel. And as messenger to the children of Israel, I have come to you with a proof from your Lord, that I create for you out of clay the likeness of a bird, and blow into it, and it becomes a bird by God's leave. And I heal the blind and the leper, and give life to the dead by God's leave, and inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses, and that is a proof for you if you be believers, and confirming what is within my grasp of the Torah, and making lawful for you some of what was forbidden you. I have come to you with a proof from your Lord, so be in prudent fear of God, and obey me. God is my Lord, and your Lord, so serve him. This is the straight path. But when Asa perceived their denial, he said, Who will be my helpers unto God? The white-robed ones said, We will be the helpers of God. We believe in God, and bear thou witness that we are submitted. Our Lord, we believe in what thou hast sent down, and follow the messenger, so write thou us down among the witnesses. And they schemed, and God schemed, and God is the best of schemers. When God said, O Asa, I will take thee and raise thee to me, and cleanse thee of those who are indifferent to warning, and place those who follow thee above those who are indifferent to warning until the day of resurrection, then to me is your return, and I will judge between you concerning that wherein you differed. And as for those who are indifferent to warning, I will punish them with a severe punishment in this world and the hereafter, and they have no helpers. And as for those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, he will give them their rewards in full, and God loves not the wrongdoers. That do we recite to thee of the proofs and the wise remembrance. The example of Asa in the sight of God is like the example of Erdem. He created him from dust. Then he said to him, Be thou, and he was. The truth is from thy Lord, so be thou not of those who doubt. And whoso disputes with thee concerning him, after the knowledge which has come to thee, say thou, Come, we will call our sons and your sons, and our women and your women, and ourselves and yourselves, then will we pray in earnest and invoke the curse of God upon the liars. This is the true narrative, and there is no God save God, and God, he is the mighty, the wise. And if they turn away, God knows the workers of corruption. Say thou, O doctors of the law, come to an agreement between us and you that we serve not, save God, and that we ascribe not partnership to him, and that some of us take not others as lords instead of God. And if they turn away, say, bear witness that we are submitted. O doctors of the law, why dispute you about Ibrahim when the Torah and the Gospel were sent down only after him? Will you then not use reason? Here you are those who dispute about that whereof you have knowledge. Why then dispute you about that whereof you have no knowledge? 
and God knows, and you know not. Ibrahim was neither one who holds to Judaism nor a Nazarene, but was inclined to truth as one submitted, and he was not of the idolaters. The people closest to Ibrahim are those who follow him, as do this prophet and those who heed warning. And God is the ally of the believers. A number of the doctors of the law would love to lead you astray, and they lead astray only themselves, and they perceive not. O doctors of the law, why deny you the proofs of God which you yourselves witness? O doctors of the law, why clothe you the truth in vanity and conceal the truth? And you know. And a number of the doctors of the law say, Believe in what was sent down upon those who heed warning at the beginning of the day, and deny at the end thereof that they might return, and believe not, save one who follows your doctrine, say thou. Guidance is the guidance of God, unless one be given the like of what you were given, or they will argue against you before your Lord, say thou. Bounty is in the hand of God. He gives it to whom he wills, and God encompasses, knows. He chooses for his mercy whom he wills, and God is one possessing tremendous bounty. And among the doctors of the law is he who, if thou entrust him with a fortune, will deliver it unto thee. And among them is he who, if thou entrust him with a diner, will not return it to thee, save thou remain standing over him, because, they say, we owe nothing to the unschooled, and they ascribe a lie to God, and they know. Verily, whoso fulfils his pledge and is in prudent fear, God loves those of prudent fear. Those who sell the pledge of God and their oaths for a cheap price, these there is no portion for them in the hereafter. And God will not speak to them or look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will he increase them in purity, and they have a painful punishment. And among them some distort the law with their tongues, that you might think it from the law when it is not from the law, and they say it is from God, but it is not from God, and they ascribe to God a lie, and they know. It is not for any mortal that God should give him the law and judgment and prophethood, then he should say to men, Be servants to me rather than God, but be men of God, in that you do teach the law and in that you do study. And nor would he command you to take the angels and the prophets as lords. Would he command you to denial after you have submitted? And when God took agreement of the prophets, what I give you of decree and wisdom, then comes there to you a messenger confirming what is with you. You shall believe in it and help him. He said, Do you affirm and take over that my covenant? Said they, We do affirm. He said, Then bear witness, and I am with you among the witnesses. Then whoso turns away after this, these are the wantonly perfidious. Is it then other than the doctrine of God they seek? And to him submits whoso is in the heavens and the earth, willingly or unwillingly, and to him will they be returned. Say thou, we believe in God, and what is sent down upon us, and what was sent down upon Ibrahim, and Ismail, and Ishaq, and Yaqub, and the grandsons, and what was given to Musa, and Isa, and the prophets from their Lord. We make no division between any of them, and to him we are submitted. And whoso seeks a doctrine other than submission, it will not be accepted from him, and he in the hereafter will be among the losers. How will God guide a people who denied after their faith and had borne witness that the messenger is true and clear evidence had come to them? And God guides not the wrongdoing people. 
these. Their reward is that upon them is the curse of God and of angels and of men all together, they abiding eternally therein. The punishment will not be lightened for them, nor will they be granted respite, save those who repent and do right after that. Then is God forgiving, merciful. Those who are indifferent to warning after their faith then grow in denial. Their repentance will not be accepted. And these are those who go astray. Those who are indifferent to warning and die as atheists. There would not be accepted from one of them an earth full of gold were he to seek to ransom himself thereby. They have a painful punishment and they have no helpers. You attain not to virtue until you spend of what you love, and what you spend of anything, God knows it.